Good day, folks. Just another example of basically crossing energy domains and letting nature do its own work in its own domain instead of trying to fight it. So here we have my power supply, 2.2 volts, input 44 amy, running this small oscillator here at roughly um, 333 kilohertz. And uh, it's a torsion coil, so basically canceling fields here. So we're converting essentially to A fields, which is the um, vector field essentially so to see that it works here's the field meter so it does the job on all modes magnetic electric no detection so it's doing a very good job yet if we have a resonant coil it still excites it because it is to change over time right so uh, as far as it's concerned it converts that back to its own emf and I've got it set to, again, uh, as many systems as you can to make this work, to an electorate here. But people were criticizing me, saying that, oh, it's just a battery. This is all 100% hard. And by the way, it's made with sugar. All I did was, um, I don't know if I talked about it or not, but um, it's my sugar cell. It's a sugar electorate. Warmed up some white sugar in the bowl on medium heat until it got into a syrup, poured the warm syrup in there, place my plates and let it cool. And it works very well, has a static potential of close to one volt and doesn't corrode naturally, it's sugar, and acts as one hell of an electorate. So I decided to connect this as an LC to my coil here. And what I'm doing here is I've got it connected to the scope over here. That's the electorate side. And here's my load box. So I'm actually loading it right now at 10 ohms, okay? Let's try and figure it out. So at 10 ohms with the frequency of around 300K, this is what I'm getting. So if you do the calculations, which I'm with the help of Chad GPT here, <laughs> real quick. So here it is. So the load is 10 ohms. Voltage is about that, 6.6 .6 pp sine wave and the input power 2.2 volts 44 ma so that gives you roughly how much we are in our input and into the power dissipated into the 10 ohm resistor here according to this is 545 milliwatts So that means essentially it's making the claim that it's over five times more power than it's consuming. And here it is right here. That's all it is. But as I said, there's a few differences here. I'm not dealing with a traditional field, even though it acts like a magnetic field to nearby coils. As you see, it's a very good torsion coil. I took this apart before. I, I could take it apart in a moment and show you, but I, I already did. And, um, here it is, just an LC circuit. This is the L and this is the C as an electorate. And here's my load box connected to the electorate here. And I've got my scope on there reading my outputs. Perfect sine wave, by the way. And this is to support the idea with Don Smith, right? That the RF couplings, it, it can be like separate from the load. It doesn't matter what you're doing. This will essentially stay very similar or even drop, okay? So what's very interesting here is now we're loading it, right? And we're still getting in because you always need a little bit for the input trigger to keep the field integrity and intensity, right? So I'm loading this right now. So without loading it, what's very interesting. So we're going to disconnect the load here for a moment. And I'm going to show you something here because we're resonant. This system happens to be resonant, by the way. So look what happens when we disconnect the load. 2.2 volts, 3 MA, all of a sudden. And no, the oscillator didn't stop. There it is, even full scale there because I disconnected the load. But this could go hundreds of volts, you see? Now, all of a sudden, because it's resonant, we're getting all this pure potential, essentially, which can be converted to do your gradient difference, by the way. And this is nothing, 2.2 volts, 3 MA. 
is all we're using. And thanks to the resonant LC condition trigger in this. Easy way to find out, looks what happens when I distance this transmitter away from the coil here. Look at the power as it starts to go up as I distance it. So now we're pretty far away and it's up to 45 MA there. And you still have the same waveform. So you're using it whether you use it or not. So may as well take advantage of it. Find out where your sweet spot is. See, and now I could even lift it up higher and it doesn't change it. it. This is like its native output around 45, whether you use it or not. But if it gets near a resonant condition, it'll drop because of the efficiency of the reactive fields and whatnot. So I'm still pretty far away, see? Which is kind of neat because my field meter, my electric meter, my magnetic, it's all the different modes here, doesn't detect this, but it's there, you see? But as soon as it hits the coil, especially in the LC configuration, it's loving this. You know, I'm, I'm pretty far away. I'm about a foot and a half now. And it's just loving this. So when you put it really, really close, like I'm gonna put it back on the coil here, look what happens to my current because it's resonant. Poof, the strain all of a sudden on the input drops because it's essentially recycling a lot of its own essentially to keep this pure potential going at this point in the reactive field. But this is exactly what we want. And with the help of the electret to do the polarity flipping along with the um, torsion fields. So what happens is um, very little opposing fields in between the two, right? Like you normally have, which could create heat and resistive losses. So that's the benefit. So it's not so much, it just makes it more efficient to transfer the, um, or I should say trigger the magnetic resonant condition. So why not if you can use it, right? So that was just my point about um, how simple devices can give you simple quote-unquote over unity if you understand how and why it comes from. It's not magic, it's not violating the laws of physics, it's just field dynamics, pure potentials, and using a gradient over time. And uh, yes, this is a sine wave, and yes, in the math we um, accommodated for that. It's in the math and you saw it there. So anyways, I hope this... Um, sheds a light and that you guys enjoy this and are in the inspirational from it all thank you very much and have yourselves all a great day